welcome it's Michaela, but you can call me mac today we're gonna be setting up my 2024 reading journal i am super excited let's just jump right into this the design for today is going to be a little bit more on the minimal side because I had this idea that the more I read, the more colorful and filled in the pages are going to be. So starting out, we're just going to do the title page that just says 2024 Reading Journal. I'm going to be using my go-to Fine Tech Pearlescent Color in Olympic Gold along with my Hunt 101 nib to letter the title. I had to switch lenses so I could zoom in as close as I possibly could so you could see this color. Look at this shimmer and then shine. This is why I absolutely love using this. <laughs> For all of the main headers in this spread, I'm going to be using the same like calligraphy style and the same gold. I cannot wait to start practicing calligraphy again this year and that gives me an excuse to buy some more inks so <laughs> I'll definitely be incorporating different inks and different lettering styles in my journal spreads. By the way, I am using this 8x8 dot grid notebook from Archer and Olive. This is their North Star design and it has 160 pages and it says it's purple but it's really like this burgundy-ish like i mean i guess kind of purple color and to be honest i kind of bought this by accident i thought this was the like linen um fabric cover and it was the vegan leather cover and i don't really like the way it feels <laughs> it feels weird it's like off but like I don't know it's hard to explain the texture and the other thing is I recently got another vegan leather notebook from Archer and Olive and it feels just fine like it doesn't feel like this at all I don't know it's weird but it's fine I'm excited to try a square notebook it has more space I'm excited but I'm also kind of like terrified because it's more space <laughs> Here's how the title page turned out. You'll notice that I'm going to be leaving the books blank and you'll see like some other blank books throughout the spreads um, because I'm thinking about tracking my books that I read for the year that way. So then that way they become like the decorations on the page. So I'll fill them in and color them in as I read books. Moving on to the next two pages, I have my index on the left side and my reading tracker on the right side. Let me just say, I'm not sure how smart it was to use this gold on all the headers because it takes a while for it to <laughs> dry so I'm having to like take a little bit longer to set up these pages than I thought I would anyway so I'm trying to get my life a little bit more organized for my 2023 journal I did not have an index my pages were all over the place I didn't know what I was doing but for this year we are getting it together <laughs> I think it will be nice to have one spot where I can see where everything is so if I'm trying to find something I can flip to it quickly You'll also notice that I have a few blank books in the margins as well, and that's just where I can fill in the books that I read and color them in as I go throughout the year. And then on the right hand side of the page, I have my reading tracker. For some reason this year, I've been like obsessed with just like tracking progress of things. <laughs> and so I thought it would be kind of fun to track like how many days I read out of each month. So I'm just going to choose a color for the month and then fill in the little squares for every single day that I read. I also thought about possibly doing a like reading goals for the year page, but I don't want to put too much pressure on myself and set like goals. So I guess I'll call them reading plans and they're very casual plans. So I really want to read 52 books this year. That was my goal last year and I was able to read 69. So I think it's pretty doable, but if I don't reach it, I'm not going to stress about it. I also want to DNF more books because I waste a lot of time <laughs> on books that I do not DNF. I just, it's hard for me to do it. I'm like, if I'm already 50% of the way through, I might as well just finish the book. I also, okay, so this is slightly embarrassing. <laughs> My digital TBR is like 292, I think. My goal was to get it down from 300 and to never go over 300 ever again. But I want to get that down even further from 292 to maybe like 250 and that's either by reading or editing deleting dnfing all of the things moving on to the next page i'm actually not going to be setting anything up on this page this is my first challenge for the year last year i did the alphabet challenge and i did not finish that um so i wanted to do it on like a more low key so i'm doing the number challenge <laughs> and this is to read books that have like one, two, three, four, five, and so on in the title. So I have numbers one through nine. And as I read the books, I'm going to fill in the number with this gold color. And then I'll probably do the 
maybe the book cover of the book that I read next to the number or maybe even just like a little blurb about the book and my rating. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'm not going to touch this page for today, but this is going to be my number challenge. A friend, please let me know in the comment section if you know any books that have numbers in their title. I'm looking at quite a few, um, but for like five and eight, I'm struggling. Like I can't... <laughs> there's nothing that's really catching my eye so definitely drop your recommendations in the comments i will be forever grateful i was really excited to set up these next two pages on the left hand side i have my expenses and savings and then on the right hand side i have my personal library so one of my last pages i made in my 2023 uh reading journal was how much money i spent on books and how much i saved by going to the library i ended up saving over 670 dollars by reading library books i am a library girly i love a free book <laughs> But I also want to start getting into building my own collection of books, building my own library, but the anxiety seeps in just thinking about buying a book that I've never read because I don't want to waste 15 or $20 on buying a book that I don't end up liking, you know? So anyway, that's been a challenge for me to get over. I've been doing a, obviously a lot of secondhand shopping, a lot of thrifting books, things like that, um, because paying <laughs> full price for a book I've never read is kind of wild to me. Anyway, I just wanted one place where I could track how much I was spending on books for each month, how many I bought in the month, how much money I spent that month. And then on the right hand side, I have my personal library and I'm just going to add each of the books that I buy to that library. My goal is to actually read from my own personal library library so I do plan to read all of the books that I've um, bought. I'm starting the year by coloring in the books that I've already read and then anything that I haven't read I'm hoping to read this year and anything that I buy is going to be added here <laughs> and hopefully also read this year. The blank space that I have on my expense and savings page is going to be my like end of the year wrap up of how much I spent altogether total on books and how much I saved by reading books from the library. I also left myself a little section down below for wants. I do not stay up on like anticipated releases or things like that. I'm not good with stuff like that. So this section isn't large. <laughs> I'm not really expecting to have like a long list of anticipated uh, reads that are going to be released this year. Um, but if there's any that catch my eye, I will write them here and hopefully either buy them or try them out first at the library. The next spread is my book bracket to help me find my favorite book for the year. Now this is where the size and shape of this journal comes in handy. I love how big this is and how I'm able to put the book covers for each of the months and then I have like the giant book cover for my favorite book in the middle. I love how this came out. I'm also doing the same thing that I did last year and I kind of randomized the months. So I have September going against March, July against April, June against October, August against May, February against December, and January against November. Next, we are going to skip the next six pages. I'm going to leave these blank just in case I find any other challenges that I want to do throughout the year, any type of like readathons, anything like that. I have space in my journal for that. And we are going to set up the last spread for today which is going to be my January spread. So as I mentioned, I'm trying to get my life a little bit more organized. <laughs> and I did really like being able to track my stats for the year in my 2023 journal. So I definitely want to just try to do that uh, monthly. So I'm trying out this layout from Monica over at Bibliophile by Night on Instagram. I will be sure to link her down below, but I saw this layout on Jessie Curran's video. She did a flip through of Monica's bullet journal or reading journal, and I really liked how she did her monthly layouts. So I'm going to give it a try, <laughs> at least for January and see where we are and then... I will either continue for the rest of the year or maybe we can just switch it up a little bit. But essentially, I have the calendar here for January and then I have my TBR on the left hand side and I numbered each of the books that I plan to read this month. And then what I did was whenever I started a book, 
I would put that number on the day that I started it and then draw a line all the way until the day I ended it and so on and so forth. So I could see like how long I was reading a book, how long it took me to read that book. And when I finish the book, I'm going to just, you know, highlight it on the left hand side to note that it's finished and same on the um, calendar. And then I'm going to leave the right hand side blank for now, but this will be where my stats are going to go for um, my reading for the month. So how many fiction, how many nonfiction, how many star ratings, all those kind of things are going to go on the um, right hand side. I think I'm also going to track like least favorite, best favorite, <laughs> best favorite, <laughs> favorite of the month and least favorite of the month as well. Um, yeah, that's what's going on here. <laughs> We're gonna try this out. So far, I really like how this is going. And I can definitely see me using this for the next few months. And the next few pages are going to be for February, March, April, May, and June. I'm only gonna do the first six months for now. I don't know if this is gonna be a six month journal or not. It depends on how much space I use. But I think I'm gonna try to do the first six months for now have like a mid-year page and then finish out the rest of the months um, in the journal if we have enough space. And the last thing I want to show you really quickly, so this is going to be as organized as I possibly can get it. So technically the spreads should be in order, especially since I'm not using the Neapolitan pages and I'm not jumping around to try out the different color pages. The spreads should technically be in order. Um, however, I allocated a couple of pages in the beginning of the spreads to books that I don't really have much to say about them. I don't really have any ideas of what I want them to look like as far as the um, design of the page or I just don't have, you know, I don't really like them, you know? So I have eight spaces here. I could even break it down in half and have even more spaces, but I just wanna have these spaces here for just books that don't really need a full spread. And that is all we have for today. As I mentioned, it's very minimal. It's very simple for now. I'm hoping it'll get more colorful throughout the year as we read, as we fill things in. And of course, now that I'm editing this video, I have so many ideas of different challenges and pages I wanna set up in this journal. <laughs> At least I left myself space enough to do that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can come back and see all of the pages we set up in this journal. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here, friend. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you being here. If you want to see a flip through of my 2023 reading journal, I will put it right here on the left-hand side of the screen. Go check it out and I will see you over there. Bye!